What's good YouTube, it's your boy Ari, welcome back to AM Island Vibes, hope you guys are doing good, I am doing alright, today we're going to be doing a reaction video, alright, today reaction video is going to be NBA 2K Curse, since from, oh sorry, excuse me, from 2017, this is my first, no, 16, 16, 2016, I heard about the 2K Curse, no, it was twenty. It was two K seventeen. We have Paul George, Kevin Durant, and ah crap. James Harden was on the cover. From then, I was hearing about the two K curse. All right, so we're gonna see how true it is. It's like a whole documentary if you want per se. Documentary. We're gonna be reacting to it. All right. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. All right. If you guys want to see more lit reactions from me. Alright, with that being said, let's get into the reaction video! With roughly 400 players in the NBA, only a handful get featured on the covers of the year's newest edition of 2K. A handful but what of many years. fans don't realize is, there's actually a curse. Becoming a cover athlete oh. is something all players dream of, but the few that did make the cover have felt the curse that comes with it. For years now, it seems as if 2K's been following a specific trend that's gotten overlooked. It all started out in 2014, and has happened every year, so it's crazy people haven't figured it out. Looking back, the curse began once LeBron and the Heat went on one of the most historic runs in NBA history. James became the cover of NBA 2K14 because Miami's Big Three were the team to beat between 2011 and 2014. It displayed him throwing his chalk into the air with his coveted number six heat jersey on. But this is where things got interesting. With Miami becoming the champions in 2012 and 2013, Go James! four straight NBA finals, the trend of the curse began that year. The Heat lost to the Spurs that summer, and decisions had to be made surrounding their team. LeBron was once again becoming a free agent, and many fans were worried. Was this it? Was LeBron once again jumping to another team in oh, hopes of championships? One month later, James announced his decision to return to Cleveland, go switching go. organizations again. Go James. Yeah, this powerful move changed the league's future as we knew it, but it also cursed the 2K company for years to come. Let's pause and put a little more respect on my boy LeBron. We ain't gonna act like LeBron ain't the GOAT. You feel me? We're not gonna act like LeBron is not the best NBA player in the league right now. You know, we ain't gonna act like it ain't it, for sure. We're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna even disrespect a man like that. You feel me? Come on. Stop playing with my boy. Go dreams, go dreams. <laughs> Moving on to the following year continued this weird coincidence. A well-deserving Kevin Durant signed enough to become the next cover athlete for NBA 2K15 KD cool, KD by averaging cool. 32 points a game. KD was featured as 2K15's cover athlete sporting his own oh, yes, number 35 yes. thermal jersey, dribbling looking like he's about to I lied. It was 2015. 2K15. Well 2K15, my bad. It was the first one. him as someone who switched teams. But the following year, I'm he proved people wrong. Durant and Westbrook began to butt heads having chemistry issues. And it was growing apparent that OKC might not be able to win a championship with this duo. The Thunder got close, making the Western Conference Finals later in 2016. But even being up 3-1 wasn't enough to seal the deal. OKC lost three games straight to Golden State, inevitably choking their chance at contending for a championship. Now, what does this have to do with the 2K curse? Two words. Kevin Durant. Just like LeBron, KD had a decision to make. Stay playing through his prime with OKC or join another contender to hopefully secure a championship. He took the LeBron approach. That's a nice shot. Shocking the world and heading to Golden State that summer. For the second time, a 2K cover athlete jumped ship and outdated the game's original cover. What did man just say? LeBron James did not jump ship, all right? He did not. He just went home, all right? He didn't jump ship. Stop, man, who this is? Stop trying to play my boy like that. Yo, hey, stop it. Don't do that. Warrior. Don't do that. And this is when things got Second weird. time. At this point, fans started to catch up on the fact that a cover athlete was leaving their team, but it only happened two times. Maybe it was just a coincidence, everybody thought. Or maybe it was beginning a trend. 
As the next few years went on, it proved that point exactly. Following Durant's feature, Paul George was next in line. With him being on the come up after a horrible leg injury in the USA Olympic practice, George got healthy and made it his mission to overcome the odds. People felt he wouldn't become who he once was destined to be, but PG proved them wrong. Getting right back on track due to the hardships he overcame, as well as averaging 23 points a game, he became the 2K17 cover athlete after an inspiring comeback story. On the cover, you can see three versions of PG-13, with the first being him flexing in his white Pacers jersey. The second is behind him mid-dunking the dark blue Indiana jersey. And last but not least, the that Indiana Pacer, the George, was, Olympic was a legend. Where this story came from. When it was announced he was the cover athlete, fans felt there was a close to a 0% chance he'd go somewhere else as possible. Fans knew that if he was training, there was for sure something fishy going on in the background. Well, heading into that summer, the rumors started floating around, and Paul George demanded a trade. On June 30th, 2017, I'm he was headed to the Thunder, and once again, a star destroyed a cover of 2K. At this point, there wasn't really an explanation to why this kept happening. How could star players just want to up and leave their team out of nowhere? Why would this happen right after they became a cover athlete? There were so many unanswered questions, but with limited answers. Only the future could explain what was going on. Simple. The pace of suck. If you think the Paul George situation was weird, then hang on a second. Kyrie Irving, as always, made people question reality. Kyrie was on a tear in Cleveland. Yeah, there were apparent chemistry issues behind the scenes for Kyrie and LeBron, but they were as successful as anybody, making four straight finals, winning a championship in 2016, ending Cleveland's drought, and continuing to almost be a guaranteed finals appearance each year. What could go wrong with that? Well, the 2K curse floating around could answer that for you. Being the second best player on the team wasn't cutting nah, anymore. Bro. Kyrie was sick of being out of the spotlight. Okay. Not being the leader and apparently not getting the credit he felt he deserved. Okay. Irving was averaging 25 points a game and getting a lot of recognition, but more so as a sidekick for a son. He didn't like that. Controversy rose after the 2017 finals. Well, LeBron told Kyrie, we'll be back minutes after game five concluded, but things didn't work out like James's plans. Kyrie showed out in the past two finals and proved the point that he too was a superstar, no doubt about it. It was enough to become a cover athlete for NBA 2K18 in his Cavaliers jersey. But as we all know, that summer changed everything. I think I even went to something. Out of nowhere, the trade demand came shortly after the NBA 2K18 cover had been released, and people were not only shocked Kyrie wanted out of Cleveland, but what was this company going to do about their game? The cover was already made, and once again, somebody ruined it. Yeah. This time, the game was about to be released, and this happened right before. So, would they be able to fix my this? cover? Had was their game this cursed? This my cover had him in the Celtics. Problems. And now they had to quickly remake a cover with yeah. his new team's uniform. Being traded to the Celtics was historic because it was the first time 2K had to scrap their cover. Gordon Hayward is a This boss. actually happened before in the Madden franchise when oh, EA Sports okay. had to put out a printable cover for Madden 09 after Brett Favre joined the Jets. If things weren't ridiculous already, this Kyrie situation definitely made things clear. The game was cursed, no doubt about it, but that wasn't everything. The following years took things to another level. The year after this Kyrie controversy, LeBron James, yet again, earned his right to be featured on the anniversary cover of 2K. LeBron had been known to switch teams in the past, but there was no way he was going to face criticism for doing this again. No way. He literally would risk being a public enemy in Cleveland if he left again. No way he was going to do it. Well, he did it again. never say never. One of the most ridiculous moments in sports history happened that year during Game 1 of the 2018 NBA Finals. This moment made things clear instantly that there was some weird voodoo floating around in the air. J.R. Smith somehow forgot the score of the game and dribbled out the clock when the Cavaliers had a chance to win. LeBron was so mad at the situation that he didn't even explode. It just looked like he instantly thought, yeah, that's it. That was our chance. We lost it. I'm over it. I'm out. Try and guess what happened next. Uh, Come on, I bet you can't. Thousand bucks if you get the right answer. Too late. LeBron <laughs> did the unthinkable. He left Cleveland one. 
This nigga ain't shit. This nigga ain't give nobody a chance to guess. LeBron went to went to uh, went to Los Angeles. It's too late. This time, I like that one. To LA. There's Woo! no doubt about it. The curse is real. And if you still don't believe it, that's fine. There's still more to the story. And things get so unbelievable, you're gonna think the NBA is scripted. Transitioning into the new year, we had Anthony Davis, who made the cover of NBA 2K20. With Anthony Davis leading a successful individual career in New Orleans, his talent seemed to be wasted, and he knew the playoffs are what he needed. After leading the Pelicans with averages of 24 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists, he was selected to be the cover athlete for the newest 2K. But earlier in the year, it went viral when Anthony Davis was tired of his organization. He demanded a trade, but things never happened because he was still under contract, and the Pelicans didn't want to give him up. The Pelicans That's struggled okay. in the process of Davis being traded by making him play the season out, but as soon as he had the chance, he was gone. On gone. June 17, 2019, First thing he was smoking. to the Lakers, which shocked the world, but 2K20 was being released on September 5, 2019, so there was a problem. But 2K was prepared, somehow. They knew about this curse. They knew players were switching teams. They were ready for this. The cover is of Davis standing with his arms crossed over the jersey. Just in case, and after the trade happened, it was an easy swap. But fans have been thinking, is 2K the reason this keeps happening? Why does every superstar immediately switch teams once wow. they hit this certain level? Well, present day. We just got news of the brand new 2K, and guess what? Damian Lillard is a oh, good God. He's known for his loyalty and efforts towards the Blazers organization. They paid him so much directly because of this. But the rumors have been floating around for years. Lillard wants to win, especially in the playoffs. Lillard needs to leave, man. But it's man. been said that a trade could take place any year now. This is the final. I'm going to go on record. You, Hassan Whiteside is the laziest center I have ever witnessed in my entire life, bro. Hassan, 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 Hassan Whiteside, bro. I watched this nigga play in the bubble. Even Shaq said it himself. He said as a lazy, lazy big man. Bro, my God. Bro, you're 7'2", seven 7'1". Seven you literally have to go up, you just literally have to do a little um, hop jump. Mm. Rebound. Why are you letting somebody who 6'10, 6'11 box you up, bro? Squad do something, bro. Lazy big man. Make us big man, but I'm big and high. The curse is here. You know. We know what's happened for many years. The NBA is coming back, and it's very possible a move could be made sooner than later. Maybe this is all a weird coincidence. Little me to leave, man. Maybe things just happened this way for Come you under the circumstance. <clears throat> or maybe there really is a 2K curse. Oh. And it's a messed up version of the tagline from the 2006 movie Stay Alive that said, you get featured on the cover, you leave for real. If you've enjoyed this video, then we're sure you'll enjoy the next one. Click on right now. And then Let's say most overpaid players in the NBA. Let me know if you guys want to see me react to that. I feel like that'd be cool. All right. But yeah, man, I gotta put a sign while I sat on spot, man. Come on, bro. Be dominant. Use the man. Be big man. Well, you're kind of old now. <laughs> yeah, let me stop. Nah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna talk my shit. You're kind of old now. <sighs> oh my god, I don't know if it's the only me who have a sign, Hassan on, on Snapchat. This nigga is not funny, bro. And he swear thinks he's the comedian of the year. Skrabobski? Huh? <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I reported to Snap. <laughs> I was like, this is Snap say, why are you reporting it? I wanted to type in the box, this nigga ain't funny, bro. This nigga stale. This nigga lame, bro. It's Joseph's be so stale, bro. Uh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> if y'all don't believe me, add this nigga on Snap. You can see what I'm saying. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys are new to the channel. If you guys want to see more reaction videos, let me know. I'll get on as soon as possible. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember that the world is yours. Peace.